what's up everyone okay this is just a quick tutorial on how to do a system cleanup or a just a you know um, temporary file cleanup to just speed up your system a little bit um, and also you know clean up old update files and just a good to do um, weekly or monthly um, procedure okay so firstly we can open up a run box this is um, this can be done by doing control R okay so control R this will open up your run box sorry keep pressing enter okay so in your run box it will here we can say prefetch. Okay, we can open up prefetch. Let's hit continue. Okay, so this will get this. You'll see here's a bunch of files. We can just select all. I, I select all by pressing Control A, and hit delete, delete. Okay, the rest of these we can just say skip. Okay, once this is done, that's fine. Okay. Then we're gonna search defrag. Okay. We're gonna do a quick defragment. This is set up to do it automatically. Okay. We're just gonna optimize optimize uh, the C drive, only the C drive. We're not gonna do the other drives. Okay, and if this option is available also. Okay. This is set up automatically, but we'll just do it anyway. Okay, then we're gonna search disk cleanup. Okay, hit disk cleanup. Okay, here we can select our drive. We can do C drive as well. And then over here, um, we're gonna select all of them and hit cleanup system files. Then again, we're gonna select C drive, hit OK, and this will appear. This might take a moment, okay. And uh, all depends on your um, your SSD or hard drive speeds. Okay, um, we're gonna just make sure everything is selected. As we can see here, just by doing this, I will be almost saving a gigabyte gigabyte of storage, six hundred gigs. Um, there's a few extra features here as you can see um, so we can do this as well I'm not going to do this um, but if you're watching this tutorial um, you should definitely do this as well so um, we're not going to use this now but yeah here you can just go through everything um, maybe ask the user if you're working on someone else's computer you know, ask, asking them questions like, do you use any disk? Uh, do you use only familiar apps? Um, do you use PAT here release? And stuff like that. If you, if you use it, don't. Um, you can just, let's say, go to check T up, hit uninstall, and press yes. And it'll take a moment. It'll maybe prompt a little uninstall window. There we go. Um, and just hit uninstall. So this job might take a moment, so I'll just skip until it is done. Okay, once this is uh, done, uh, the place is actually still running. Uh, let me just have a look. Okay. to be done. Okay. 
Okay, next one. What we are going to do is okay, once that is done, we're gonna go to our phone explorer, go to desktop. Here, so I need to full screen so again into our cycle bin as well. Once that is done, awesome. Okay, and then we're going to go to main Google tab, let's say, for example, this one. Let's go drag this one over. Okay, there we go. Okay, then we're going to uh, remove all unwanted um, browser extensions. For example, um, Google it will be here. Okay, so these are obviously my browser extensions. I use all of them. Okay, but we might have a bit you know, different stuff that you don't use or that you're not familiar with. So if you're not familiar with anything, or um, if you're in the IT department, anything that we don't know, just hit this on the new front end, and that should. So speed up your browsing a little bit. Once that is done, you can go to bookmarks, not the new browser data. Okay. And here we you know, just select all time browser history. Okay. You're not always going to select this. You might select cookies and cache images and files. And we might just delete this as well. There's a bit more bonds. So I mostly just select everything and just keep my browsing data and my passwords. But I thought I would keep as well, but the rest I usually just delete. Once that is done, we can go to program features. Okay. Add or remove the program. This will uh, mostly prompt it in your settings, but I like to go to program features over here. Or you can just access it through your run command and hit in control panel. Okay, and this will open up the control panel. And over here you can go to program features. Okay. So there's a different few different ways to get to here. Okay. Like I showed you previous as well. So over here, the main, main thing that we need is free antiviruses, okay? So for example, anything like Motion, Bit Defender, Total, AV, McAfee, and Full Guard. Um, so if you maybe do have a subscription with one of these, it's probably way better. Um, but if it's free to use, and basically just loading a bunch of bug on your computer, it's better to just Okay. So, for example, I use Lucent and okay, so and Avira. Okay, we use the complete Avira, but I both pay for them and the them. So, for them to slow down my system. But can you see, for example, Gaffy, just hit. Okay. This is on Barco, it's not that easy. It's a running program for this. But you can just hit right click and install and go through the procedure. <laughs> okay, so another thing you can do to speed up your computer a little bit, you know, just to um, clean up everything, make sure everything is good. So if you're running on a laptop, um, um, yeah. so if you're running on a laptop, you can just over here. It should show you the battery. I can't do it now. Um, let's, see what we do. Oh, let's just do it through here. Power. Okay, we can just go to the control panel again. Get the power options. <coughs> and change our power to power panel. Oh, change the power to power panel. Okay, so here you can change it. Um, it might only have this one option, which is fine. Anything balance or performance um, would be good. I don't like to put it on power saver. Is this do some of your hard drives and a bunch of this stuff? This will also speed up the number. And then let's have a look. Yeah. 
that's mostly everything that needs to be done. Just speed up a little bit. <laughs> 